Here okay, we go. Right. Hello, everybody. Do you, do you know? Do you know? You know, there's some interesting facts about Margate. Here's three of them. Mm. Judy. Yeah. Yeah. First fact about Margate. Right. Oh, isn't that the Margate is the original seaside town, and it's changed a lot throughout the years. It fell into decline, but you know, recently it's really coming back. 200 years ago, you know, people started coming here on holiday. The seawater uh, kind of lured them from London. I mean, if you look at old pictures of Margate, it's, the beaches were just packed full of people. It was like really the place to go. I got a good fact. It's um, eating cane. Yes. Not very good, is it? We've been in this building since 1978, but we've been in business since about 1974 in a much smaller place. By the way, we're all family. It's great, love it. The population of Margaret used to go up by times five in the summer months, because loads of people used to come and take guest houses and hotels and all that sort of stuff and do all the seafront bit. And there would be hundreds and hundreds of coaches lined up on a Saturday and a Sunday, people taking work outings to the coast. And it was really buzzing, but then you come back three months later in October and November, dead as a door now, nothing, no business at all. I mean, Margate was the place to come as well as Brighton, but I think Brighton got it because of the rail link and everyone's carried on going there. And then here, became deprived, really. I guess the Margate's decline happened at the same time where most seaside towns decline happened, which is when people could afford to go to Spain for, you know, 40 quid on EasyJet. And the town just took a nosedive because no one wanted to come holiday here. I think it's still got a lot of charm and character from years gone by as well. There's a lot, and that's also what's happening now. There's a lot of retro and cool things that have happened. That's what Dreamland's all about, really. Margate is called Margate, yes. named by the Romans, because when they came to Margate, he said, you know this? Oh, I do know about this. The Roman Emperor Cabalius. Cabalius XV. Cabalius XV. Cabalius XV. That's Margate, not your gate. And so they named it Margate, Margatius. Yeah. The type of people that Margate is attracting are creative people, artists, musicians, uh, maybe people that just want to change a pace. The thing I always wanted to do was kind of like restart, you know, philosotherapy in the kind of neighbourhood, which is like, you know, using sea treatments for, for, for skin benefits. We chose to move to Margate just because of the sea. It's what it's all about. I mean, you know, it's behind us now and that's why the, the shop's here. The beach is stunning, St stunning scenery. All around our coastline is cracking. Another reason for me moving here was like seeing the guy in the joke shop and thinking, well, yeah, he goes to the joke shop and then he rides his bike home and plays with his kids and then he rides his bike in again in the morning and goes to work and he's really happy. I want to be like him, you know? So it's really interesting to have people like us who are like independent businesses and small businesses putting significant amounts of money into somewhere because they believe it. Margate is one of these places that's full of hidden gems. There's so much culture and entertainment going on that you, you initially, when you first come here, you just, you overlook. It's, it's one of these places you need to spend time in and keep coming back to. We really have got our own little weather bubble here because it's on a little island sticks out in the channel, weather's often 10 degrees warmer here than it is in London. A typical person from Margate is friendly and will try and help you out if you get stuck in things. Excuse me a minute. Al, there's a lady in there needs a door getting down, sorry. Yeah, definitely on the up, it's definitely on the up. Miles, it's booming all the time, everywhere you look. I think things like Demon Days, it's amazing to see it in Margate because it says a lot about how the town has changed and about how people outside of Margate see the town and also see the potential that they can come down and sell out a 15,000 person festival. People will always think of Margate as Kiss Me Quick Outs, Candy Plus, Fish and Chips and the Dreamland. Well, me personally, I'm looking forward to the fairground because I like fairgrounds. I used to um, uh, work on Dodgems in Eastbourne. 
So they've got good dodgems in Margate. You never told me that. No, it's something... You haven't told me everything, no, have you? No, I was just trying to find myself a little bit, so I ended up in Eastbourne driving the dodgems. Oh, yeah, you know this finding yourself thing? Hmm? How's that coming along? Um, quite, quite... Uh, Slowly? Slowly?